there. Okay, so this guy went out of his way for some fucking reason to go and um, upload one of my videos to, to Asmongold's subreddit. So I wanted to respond to the things he said in that video. So I'm interested to see what he says. Is World of Warcraft still the GOAT MMORPG? The answer is yes. This is a video. A lot of people upvoted it on my Reddit. I'm going to watch I it. I know. Here oh, we go. First thing, holy fuck. Thank you, Western Gap. I don't know why the fuck you did this, but holy shit. Congratulations. Well done to him. And uh, thank you from me for that. World of Warcraft. Oh, my on again. Jesus. Off again. Jesus Christ. First, first thing, my fucking hairline is like on the back of my head. This looks like a bad toupee. I don't know if shaving my head made it better or not anymore. I know like right now I look like a bald testicle. But I don't know if that's a better look than this. 15 year long abusive relationship with this game has really been something to witness over the years. And here she is, pulling me right back in with a brand new expansion called Dragonflight. No, it's been a little while since I played this game, but I can quite comfortably say that back in the day, World of Warcraft just- This guy here, typical WoW player, is 100% fucking right. Just had no equal. And I'm not even joking when I tell you that I had multiple opportunities to lose my virginity in high school, and I blew all of them off. Zach and I did the exact same thing. So I I know the story. I've heard this him tell girl it before. came over to our house. It was like three in the morning, and we were sixteen, and we were like, "Yo!" And she wanted to go out. She wants to go out driving because she stole her dad's car, and, and like she was super hot. We both really liked her a lot, and she had her friend there with her too. And these two girls wanted us to go out driving around with them in her dad's car, and she was like way too young to drive too. And so anyway, uh, we're playing, uh, we're like leveling up in, in uh, what was it? In, in Westfall. We were leveling up in Westfall and I closed the door on her and I was oh, talking I to Zach. I'm like, okay, so if we go out with her and then we're doing that, we're probably not going to be home until at least like four, right? And then if we go and we, we play at four until like six and sun comes up and then we sleep for like three hours, like there's literally no fucking way we're going to make it to Dead Minds tonight if we go with her. And he's like, yeah, I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, man. Good choice. I mean, it's just, Good choice. Like, Dead Minds. That's not going to happen. And so I opened the door like, yeah, mom <laughs> said we can't go. Sorry, bitch. Later. Close the fucking door. We listen to Dragon Force and land the fuck out all night long. And you know what? We did do Dead Minds. It was fucking great. Just to okay. Get... You know what? Here's my story. Okay. Uh, this was when I was still playing my hunter. I just reached somewhere in the level 30 range and I wanted to tame King Bangalash. White Tiger, I fucking, I needed him. I don't know why. I was like, I need to tame this animal. And I tried in the morning just before school. This was a Friday. And like, I, I didn't know girls through school because, well, I went to an all boys school, but I knew girls through my sports. And there was one who kept on like hinting at like there being like a party thing going on at her house. And she was like, hey, like, um, do you want to come? Uh, do you want to come over on like uh Friday often like Friday night, Friday afternoon. It's gonna be um you, me, a bunch of people, it's gonna be great, blah blah blah. And then she she started like messaging me over the week, like, oh, this person's not coming, but you you're still welcome to come. And oh, this person's not coming, but you're still welcome to come. And she kept on saying this, and I it like in retrospect, I now realize that there was no one that was supposed to be at her house except me because her parents weren't there. And so what she was trying to do was like trying to hint at the fact that I should like come over and then her parents aren't there. And then, you know, two teenagers with very little self-control. And well, I'd spent the morning before school trying to tame King Bangalash unsuccessfully because I was underleveled and could just barely tame him. My gear was all trash. I, I didn't know what I was doing. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not, I'm not fucking giving up on this goddamn tiger. So instead of going over to her house, I was just like, um, yeah, so um, I can't. 
<laughs> I, I just, I can't get there. I can't get a lift. And she was like trying to find every way around me getting there. And I was like, look, I just, it's just impossible. Look, why don't we reorganize for another day or something like that? And I just completely fucking blew her off just to tame that goddamn tiger. I wrote down on a notepad the exact battle strategy I had, the ice trap I was going to set, the days I was going to set before I started my tame, knowing that I would have approximately 10% of my health left by the time I tamed that elite mob. And guess what? I fucking did it. I fucking did it. And it was so much better than having sex with her would have been. <laughs> I know that for a fact. Um, I do remember that when I told my mom that I wasn't going over to a girl's house um, on a Friday night, she was pretty mad at me. Get a few extra hours of game yeah. time. In. And you want to know something interesting? Story never happened? Ask Zach. I don't regret it at all. I mean, sure. And I don't. An yeah, intimate don't lovemaking session with someone you really care about sounds pretty good. But have you ever experienced the sheer ecstasy of topping a DPS chart? An yeah. in-depth, no punches pull story that got real dark sometimes. Yeah. And of course, absolutely shredding someone in PvP. Yep. I'm not ashamed to say it. I was in love. But that was then. And this is now. And as easy as it would be to just say that I changed as a person, that would be an outright lie. I mean, it would sure, be. We did have our rough patches. And yeah. I wasn't always the most faithful player. But I also wasn't the one who turned into a fucking gold digger. I wasn't the one who kept changing and gaslighting all the history and stuff. I, ju I just gotta say, like, this this has actually been this this was cathartic for me doing this. Um, because it really fucking pissed me off what they did to Garrosh in um WoW. Like the whole story behind him. I th I was like really on his side for like all the bad shit he was doing i'm like holy fucking shit this guy is actually hardcore and he's staying true to his heritage of being like the son of gromash hellscream and all of this shit and then they just new to the motherfucker for no reason they make him less evil by changing his dialogue lines like that's supposed to i, I don't even understand the reasoning behind it Fuck, it, it upset me real bad. Sorry, we'd been through over the years. <laughs> Watch your clever mouth. Nice lady. Yeah, Someone true. Someone please help. Blizzard removed my testicles. And most of all, true. I wasn't the one stealing pregnant woman's titty milk out of the break room fridge. Over the years, WoW really did me dirty. And now like a salty ex who just mm -hmm. can't quite let go of what she was in the past. Here mm -hmm. I am crawling back on my hands and knees, ready to give things another shot and figure out if WoW is still the god of MMOs or just another worn out, beat up, ready to settle down, money... <laughs> <laughs> you know i think there's something different about seeing someone like really enjoy a video you make rather than just like hearing about it it's actually good to see someone have that reaction but i'm kind of surprised by it as well like that was like a throwaway joke to me and and like people love that shit no <laughs> oh my god oh my god grubbing mess still clinging to her old glory days now it would be quite uh -huh. easy to just jump right in yeah, this guy is fine, great. like nothing hey thanks for the follow the past, but we're not idiots yeah. so let's Georgia Emporio completely shattering what's left of this relationship where everyone should start when considering an old flame but no one does maybe no, the villas or fuck that's not I, I, well I don't watch cricket I'm I'm even worse than that I do not watch cricket I should have fucked with you and said I don't watch soccer. Beat around the Elwyn forest bushes here. WoW was never your modest, small town, low maintenance MMO. She was always sure. walking around with some real massive play accounts. These yeah. days, though, they're looking a little bit deflated. But context is required. You That's watch rugby? Only when, only when I feel like it. Past self. The second that you start comparing to some of her competitors. I'm a nerd and I'd rather play a sport than watch it. Of exactly what she's really packing. <laughs> oh, but yeah, quick side note for all the graphs that I use in this video. Uh -huh. I've had to pull and verify most of the data you'll be seeing here by myself over the last few months. I had to do this in whatever way I could because most of the graphs and numbers that you'll see out there on the internet are just completely wrong.
For instance, if you were to look at most of the numbers that you would find. Oh, how'd you get them, though? Because, like, I don't think that's accurate. I wanted. Okay. Um, so, the way I got the data, the way uh, the reason this video took so long is for the last three months, what I'd been doing was I'd been digging through each and every single SEC filing all the way back to 2012, because that's about the point when Blizzard stopped reporting all of their um, play accounts and populations and making those numbers public. I went through every single investor report that I could and where in some ways you could figure out the uh, populations through percentages, which is not ideal because percentages lead to, you know, like leftover digits and it doesn't make it all fair and all of that but it's the closest you can get with an accurate figure that's not pulled for some from some like bullshit games journalist website that's just literally pulled the figure out of their ass on top of that i think i must have sent over 250 different emails to different blizzard employees and i struck gold with some of them and i'm not gonna say who but this is the tactic. If you ever want to get into this or figure this out or try and get data from someone, the people you send emails to is not the people at the bottom because they don't know shit. It's not the people at the top because they're not going to risk their entire career giving data to some random fucking person who's pretending to be a journalist. Um, so what you do is you hit the middle layer of people. So I emailed as many of them as I could. A lot of them didn't respond. Some of them told me I can go fuck myself. Others being disgruntled blizzard employees were very happy to help me with like as much data as they could give me. And so they each had little different parts of data that I managed to collate together and put into a singular graph and then verify those figures using um, SEC filings, investor reports, and whatever other data I could that was verified at the time. To see how you got them. So that's obviously I, I think that anybody with a brain can acknowledge that World of Warcraft during original Wrath of the Lich King was the peak of MMOs. Final Fantasy last year, Endwalker will never remotely come close to that. Neither will New World, yep. Lost Ark, Blue Protocol, any of these fucking games. The next game yep. that's going to do that is going to be some fucking Sword Art Online shit. It's not even going to be the Sword Art Online shit. Okay, so mass email strategy worked for me. Uh, getting into Overwatch Alpha. Exactly. If you mass email somewhere along the line, you will find someone who's either disgruntled enough or with enough, enough empathy that they're going to get back to you, right? And he's, okay, so well, with what he said there, um, yes, 100%, but it's not going to be um, some sword art online shit. It's going to be the Ready Player One shit where the suit can fucking jerk you off and you can live in like a little cocoon and control everything with your mind because actually physically running is way too much effort for most people. Can you imagine if we strapped people to these fucking suits all the time and we made them play video games and they had to actually physically work out? People would be fucking jacked. People would be in the fittest shape they've been in since the, the fucking uh, Stone Ages. That's not happening. People want to lie in a fucking cocoon with like a, a mechanical hand on their dick that fucking jerks them off while they, they sit there in their, their own stew for the next week. Game journalist websites. It doesn't take a genius to realize that most of these numbers have been yanked right out from between the writer's ass cheeks. Yes. And simply because I don't quite yet have the same levels of hubris that they do, I'm going to warn you that there is still room for error, even on my graphs. I've made them as accurate as I can, but the only ones who really know the numbers are Blizzard. So just yeah. keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm digressing. This hurt me so fucking much. That, that one small segment hurt me so fucking much because I must have spent a good month on that data. I had so many fucking data sets and none of it made it into this video because none of it was relevant. That, that hurt me so much because I was like, this video could have been out there like two weeks earlier than it was out there because all that data was not fucking useful.
and I had it's just, I just sat there doing nothing. The reality is that all of us, MMOs included, are fighting against the inevitable ravages of time. And there's only so many ways you can reinvent yourself before people stop caring. But for now, at least, even at its lowest, WoW has- Uh, is that true? I don't think so. I mean, look at Final it's Fantasy, true. for example. Final Fantasy 1, people like that one, and everybody is really highly anticipating Final Fantasy 16 30 years later. So I, I don't think that you will run out of people that are excited about the content as long as you have people, as long as you're making the same content. Like, let me think of some other examples of this. Uh, fuck. Uh, there are plenty of things that mm. have, you know, they've been working like uh, fucking the Rolling Stones. Okay? These guys made music in the 60s. And they're still fucking selling out massive auditoriums. They're like 90 years old or something like that. So yes, it doesn't matter as long as you're keep, you keep giving people the stuff that they want or you adapt and evolve in a way that people like. Look at fucking Pokemon, Legend of Zelda, Counter-Strike. It's the same fucking game. It's not even like Legend of Zelda. Like We've had some pretty big changes between Legend of Zelda 1 and Breath of the Wild. But... Counter-Strike, it's just, it's the same fucking thing, basically. Smash Brothers, yeah, I, I don't think that it will ever run out of style unless they let it happen. Okay, I think he's making a mistake then, I made a mistake there. I said all of us, MMOs included, need to re reinvent ourselves. That's not expressly true or the true idea I'd like to express there. Um... All the things he mentioned kind of prove my point because Rolling Stones isn't banging out new albums anytime soon. They're just doing the same thing over and over again. Final Fantasy doing the same thing over and over again. When there's a new one, it has to reinvent itself. It has to add something new. It has to take something old away. It has to change in one way or another. So he's kind of making my point is that there are things that people like that stay the same. And the things that end up reinventing themselves need to continually reinvent themselves because if they don't, they will fall out of popularity, right? One day, the Rolling Stones are going to stop touring, right? And one day, people are going to stop listening to them altogether. Uh, the Final Fantasy, Pokemon, all of that. Pokemon has had to reinvent itself a million times. And Pokemon Go is not the same as the very first Pokemon Blue. If they released Pokemon Blue today, people would be like, what the fuck is this shit? I don't want to play this trash. Where's Pokemon Go? Things need to continually reinvent themselves all the time, or they need to stay exactly the same and stay the thing that people like. So like Counter-Strike, but it's not reinventing itself. He's had the player numbers to blow the dick off of every other game in the genre. True, true, true. So that's it, right? Case closed. WoW is definitively the best. The best. And every other MMO out Sucks. there is just radioactive copium. Lose, Except not quite. See, player count is only one metric that helps us determine where this game is and what well, it's- Also, like, you have to keep in mind that he was comparing the player count the game had at its absolute peak. Jesus, no, I don't know how he reads the- Current player count. I don't know how he fucking reads this chat so fast. Like, I, there's like, usually between- two and and ten people in this chat maximum and i miss fucking message i don't know how he does this it's doing right now the big mistake that we all tend to make myself included is confusing popularity with success see the old formula of bigger player count equals more success i would actually argue that with mmos popularity does to a certain extent mean success because if you don't have a lot of people that are playing the game that means the game is not going to have as many updates which means the game is going to get worse over time because it's not being updated there's no profit incentive to update it uh also that means okay that but i'm saying i'm not saying it's not an important variable i'm trying to say that it's not the only variable to consider so i should have probably reworded the way i said this Right. I think I probably said this in a confusing way. If he thinks I'm saying that we can take play account and throw it out the window. I'm trying to say it's not the only variable to consider. That your experience in the game will probably be diminished because the amount of people the game is designed for 
are not playing the game. So there is a point where the amount of population of the game does matter. However, I think what matters more than current population is trajectory. Yep. So for example, World of Warcraft- That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Like a- It's World trajectory when it comes to profit incentive, when it comes to play account, when it comes to um, uh, goodwill from the community, when it comes to everything else around it is trending downwards. I mean, Dragonflight is objectively a better expansion than Shadowlands, and yet it hasn't brought back players the way Blizzard thought it would. Lords of Draenor lost like 2.7 million subscribers in one quarter. So that was really bad. But even after it lost those subscribers, it had more subscribers than uh, most of Mists of Pandaria. But everybody would pretty much say that Warlords of Draenor was worse than Mists of Pandaria. So what really matters is not the current number, it's the trajectory. So for example, that's why people that are playing New World can feel confident and happy that their game is, you know, pretty much stabilizing around like 40 to 50,000 players with no is content. It, is it stabilizing at 40 to 50,000? I'm gonna, I'm gonna know if it is. Yeah, it's not 40 to 50,000. I don't think it's stabilizing it. It may be going down, actually, by a lot. I know the Steam charts are inaccurate, but let's check them. Ooh. Is this the lowest point? No, it's not. 25k, 35k. They're only 10k above one of their lowest points. My god. Ooh. Yeah, no, this, there, there was this massive spike and then everyone fucked off again. And if there's nothing, uh, no updates, no new stuff that they're putting in the game, if there's no, if there's no event or no new fresh server that's coming out, then it, this is going to happen again and again and again and it's going to keep fucking happening. Look at this. Uh, August, September. So, people getting ready for the patch. Patch comes out. Event, events over, immediately. Plus thirty three thousand, minus twenty five thousand. They almost lost everyone. If you put these two months together, or the or the last thirty days, oh, no, you can't kind of can't put the last thirty days together because it's like halfway into December. But the, it's they lost almost everyone that they gained in November. Yeah, it's not stabilizing. The game's not getting updates and things fast enough. They had this bang of an idea with um, updating it in like, you know, end of year, quarter four last year. And they they thought, OK, this is where we stabilize. This is where we get a whole bunch of players. Nope. They all played it for all the streamers who played it with them. And guess what? All the fucking streamers that they picked for their event don't play New World. They play FPS fucking games. They play everything else but New World. But oh, they've got the numbers. So they brought them into New World. They played fucking New World. They got their paycheck and they fucked right off because they didn't take the goddamn players who play the fucking game all the time. The people who actually enjoy the game. They weren't part of it. They weren't the leaders of the events. It was the pieces of shit who were there for a paycheck and were out the goddamn door the first second they could. The, this I gotta say as well about this Discord. This was the Covenant Discord. It's now a fucking Marauder Discord. They are now posting Throne and Liberty shit, Blue Protocol, everything else but, but fucking New World shit here. That's how few people care. Then you're gonna have more like, people quit. I mean, I mean, look, I I understand that I am I am a literal nobody on Twitch, right? I I have like 290 followers. I have like six subscribers. I have no one. I should not be the one in charge of an event like that. The people who should be in charge. Oh God, my nose is so itchy. Ah, the people who should be in charge of an event are people who've got like a hundred plus subs every month consistently it should be the people like baggins danny uh redbird all the people who love this game and play it whether it's good or not the people who if i go onto twitch right now um are, are playing this game so if i go to twitch right now i'm willing to fucking bet that i will see that they're playing it yep redbird's live 
And guess what he's playing? Redbird is playing New World. When Amazon does an official news post um, that features creators, it has the usual plants. Uh, not people like Damone. Yeah, that's another one as well. Damone Kim has been cranking out videos nonstop. Um, I, I kind of don't like talking head videos, but you know what? Fine. It works for him. It works for his community. Why the fuck is he not in charge of one of these events? He could probably do something fantastic because he's almost always streaming that game. Same with video game databank as well. Five head survival gaming as well. Is a bit of an outdated concept, especially when it comes to MMOs, since there are I live think popularity service games. Put it this way. It does matter, but it's not the only Let's variable. Say you make an MMO that has Ooh. half a million players and pulls in now, half. Okay, now do you think do you think he made that face? Because he saw half a million players or because he saw Chris Chan? <laughs> million dollars a month. That sounds pretty good. Until you realize that it's going to cost you $1 million a month to keep your game up and running. And that's yeah. not even considering initial development costs, marketing, updates, and future expansions. And as you can probably tell, Bob Tovation Blizzard's operational costs are a lot higher. Now imagine you've got a buddy who also made an MMO, but they've only got 100,000 players and pull in $100,000 a month. Okay. But their uh, operational yeah, costs are only and the cum chalice. Now I know this example and the numbers I'm using are very reductive, but the principle remains the same. And guess which one of you- What he's doing is he's giving you a reason for why mobile games exist. Very high profit margins. What the fuck? Very low overhead. Yes, I am as a secondary. That was my setup for the secondary point. Also, what's up, Jarek? How you doing? My primary point I was trying to make here is that just because you have a more popular MMO doesn't mean you are succeeding better than someone who's less popular. Yeah, I was trying to... Who's likely to lose. So I was trying to boil this down. I was trying to boil this point down so that people could understand why popularity isn't the only thing that matters and to set up for why Blizzard is leaning so fucking heavily into mobile games. Longer unless something changes in and Frost. Frost. Dude. Worse than that, World of Warcraft isn't even alternative Balduct's I need biggest one too. anymore. Now, whatever you might think about this cancerous tumor called Diablo Immortal, I it turns out one. Blizzard was right. People do actually have phones and very little willpower in its short who the fuck didn't think this was gonna happen you'd be surprised you'd be surprised how many people are like oh it's gonna fail no i think anyone sensible knew it was gonna it was gonna succeed the, the diablo immortal didn't work they were mad because they knew it would lifespan doubles mobile has raked in more cash than world of warcraft has in the year of 2021 right, and the game is free to play immortal. technically speaking all Make I'm saying money. is why would Activate the Bacon put in all this love, energy, resources, time and effort to craft something I'm not a celebrity a now, Jarek Dan. I'm and Okay, okay, this is this is the way I look at this, right? Um a lot of people it, it, let's say someone made a video and Asmongold reacted to it. A lot of people might like I'm thankful, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm excited that this has done something and that this has got my name out there. But a lot of people would look at this and be like, okay, I've peaked. It's amazing, blah, blah, blah. To me, this is like, Asmongold does, I bet you. I bet you after watching this video, Asmongold has no fucking idea who I am. If you were to ask him, hey, who's that Rose guy? He would not fucking know my name from a slice of burnt toast, right? This is... It, to me, this is a flash in the pan. This is something amazing. This is something incredible. For his community, maybe some people found something they enjoyed. For him, this is just content. This is just content for him to farm. I don't know who the fuck... Exactly. You've met me and you don't know who the fuck Radio's I am. Radio's world and story that almost constantly is never enough for its players. When instead they can just shit out an ultra-monetized psychologically manipulative mobile shit fest oh, that makes them one. a whole golden boatload is more this game good e even if he does so benji even if he steals my seo at this point um it's more valuable to me to build up a community than it is to be top of the seo and if i mean look the trickle down is massive i don't like trickle down economics but listen the trickle down here is massive this is the biggest pump I've ever seen on my fucking channel ever, right? 
so yeah he's gonna steal my search ranking i mean look at this this video has 244,000 views the main video the primary video was dead in the water before he um before he reacted to this this video was dead in the water at under a thousand views now it's at 8k right and it's still got people watching it for some fucking reason and like it's it's a fucking shocker that even you know who i am benji like that blows my mind already so Th this like warcraft like uh heroes game is it actually good no no okay e literally everybody is saying it's no okay that's true who cares well i don't and know hopefully it snowballs fun. hopefully i don't make dog shit content Cash. from here on out something with assault. this hurts to say even when i'm mad at blizzard but while success is beginning to fade in the face of modern gaming and it's likely no longer going to be and the it primary should fade. development focus it's an old for game. Activision Blizzard. That is unless, at least in the short term, there's something a little bit more solid that can be... Uh... I don't think that it should be the prime development focus for Blizzard. It shouldn't. Because World of Warcraft is built on a 2001 or 2003 engine. They need to look towards the future. No, that's not right. That's not correct. They redid the engine for uh, Battle for Azeroth. Um... I, I know there's only so much you can really change about an engine, but it is still technically an old engine, but I know that the engine was redone for BFA. So it's it's ancient, but it's not archaic. But yeah, it shouldn't be the primary development focus. They should be making World of Warcraft 2 or Warcraft 4. But Blizzard doesn't have the ball sack to ever do that. Blizzard... Uh, Blizzard is filled with a bunch of pussies who will make a bunch of safe options because every time they try something new, they fuck it up royally because if they're not stealing it from somewhere else, it's a bad product. That's why StarCraft um, Zerg are based off of the Tyranids. It's why the Marine armor is so similar to the Warhammer 40k armor. It's why if you look at... Um, God... If you look at Dragonflight and you look at the dragon flying, why it's so similar to Guild Wars 2 and why it works so well. And it's also why when they did try something new and fanciful in the uh, MOBA space with Heroes of the Storm, it flopped so goddamn hard. It doesn't mean they should cancel the franchise or stop <coughs> making expansions, but they need to look towards the future too. That's why you have things like Overwatch. Overwatch is great. Um, Heroes of the Storm, that was a miss milked out of the game hydrant. inevitably looking oh, again at look the numbers who it is. in the paraphrased words of a wendy's munching attic goblin that's far more you know, looking at this his face has actually changed so much i don't know if this is camera or whether his face has actually changed perfect then i will ever be on the internet one hair <laughs> on a head doesn't really tell you anything but the more hairs you look at the better idea you have of where this hairline is going and this one at least looks like it's receding pretty fucking quickly away oh, from fuck. World of Warcraft. Oh, so the game can still oh, be considered gotcha, successful. But every gotcha, other bitch. game that they're turning out is starting to make them that much more cold, hard cash. For I do not think that is an argument, however, for World of Warcraft not being continuously updated. I'm not saying that it's not an argument for it to be continuously updated. I'm saying that it's the reason why their development focus is shifting heavily away from World of Warcraft. And I'm as long as World of Warcraft, if World of Warcraft makes one more dollar than it loses in development cost, it will be alive. Because you know what? Blizzard... They, they'll fucking do anything for one extra dollar. The second it starts failing, though, the second that it drops below one dollar, that's when that's when the Blizzard team's like, listen, we've had a good run. Um, we've tried our best, but get the fuck out of here. We got money to make. Um, unless you're making Warcraft mobile, get the fuck out of this office. That's how they're going to work. The second... It turns unprofitable. They will not continue to manage this game. But for now, it makes money. And you know what? They like money. And I will use an example of the other game that World of Warcraft is constantly... Yeah, he did get me. You absolutely... You're goddamn right I did. about that video. Um, 
of a good example of a an example of fuck i i got so distracted by that fucking comment i, I <laughs> forgot what i was gonna say right okay so final fantasy if are you familiar with the term loss leader loss leader means that a company sells a product at a loss in order to get people into a store and make them buy other things I would argue that Blizzard could still use World of Warcraft as a loss leader in the same way that I think Square Enix uses Final Fantasy XIV. Because Square Enix does a lot of absolutely shady things. Nobody's talking mm. about the fact that Square Enix has doubled down three separate times on uh, NFTs and having blockchain stuff in their fucking games okay no but that doesn't okay that makes sense but only if you're bringing people in with world of warcraft who who's a fucking new player of world of warcraft at this point what human being who's never played world of warcraft before is signing up to play world of warcraft it can't be a loss leader because th there's just no people being led in by that maybe by call of duty black ops modern warfare all of those games, those are, those could be lost leaders because they're bringing in people. World of Warcraft is not bringing in people. That idea only works if it's bringing in people. And also, I don't know why my chat box is not working. I just realized this now. Fuck. My chat box joined the clan. Uh, definitely not a lost leader. It can't be. It just can't be. Um, because it's not bringing in enough people. Because there's no new signups. There's no new, like shiny new people who are like coming into world of warcraft to play world of warcraft that's just not how it's working even as a wow player i won't uh play the new stuff because i don't feel like skipping the old stuff um also it's not the game i enjoyed in vanilla it's more pve centered oh it's heavily pve centered and that also then gets rid of a whole market as well um, the PvP market's not that big, and they were like, look, do we focus on PvP or PvE? And they knew that the PvE market's just way bigger because people don't have the... Um, they don't have the... Uh, the self-confidence to deal with being shit at PvP. Nobody talks about this anymore. Nobody cares, because Final Fantasy XIV is really good. So Yeah, but that's because Final Fantasy XIV is getting new signups and getting new people in. That's why it can act as a lost leader. You want to have a good game, that way, whenever people get mad at the bad games, you can be like, yeah, but we got the good game. You see what I'm saying? It is kind of boring. So I don't Derek. think that this means they're going to stop developing Warcraft at all. Hey, there we go. Look at that. It's working. Okay, so... Um, the one argument I can see someone making for World of Warcraft still being active and developed and so on and so forth is it's still making money. Five million players is still a lot of fucking players. That's a, still a lot of money. That's a lot of people buying those WoW tokens. There's a lot of people buying those in-game skins. You can milk a lot more cash out of those five million than you could probably milk out of 15 million way back in the day before they put in all the, the pay-to-win elements. Warcraft as the loss leader to get people in the door and then you get them in Diablo Immortal and then they spend all their money. So it's World of Warcraft is a gateway drug. Just like all the Fox News segments said, it turned out to be true. It was a gateway yes, drug 10 years ago, years, not activist now. Activist Be Censored has proven that what matters more than any game they make is money. They will do whatever they need to put whatever object in whatever orifice they have to, to not lose market share. And yeah. that means caring way less about I what your long-term players think and feel, God, I love and Pyro's more about rent. the monetizable oh trends of the unwashed gaming masses. This kind of mindset means you're trying to- You know to my video watching that has like 2 million views? Imagine how mad it's Pyro crazy. is. crazy. That that Final Fantasy director is not that those directors completely against it, but you like but imagine he's... imagine how mad Pyro is that his rant probably got barely any attention, and the second that Asmund Gold saw it, it's just two million views. <laughs> I'm sure he lost his fucking shit for a second time. Do what I'm saying though, how Final Fantasy can not have any of that bad stuff. But Final Fantasy can still be used as something that builds Square Enix's brand so they can afford to lose brand points in other areas. Figure out how do you get them to spend like as much donation. money as possible 
on whatever product you're pushing, complete or not. And guess what? Complain all you want, but so far it's working out for them pretty fucking great. Put bluntly, if phone games like Diablo Immoral keep posting profits like this, nothing you say has any value to them because that's true and i would apply yep. that to pretty much every single yeah that's every that's every they, company in the industry it doesn't fucking matter if it's the smallest company or the biggest company money is the bottom line end of story care about money transactions speak louder than words they have zero incentive transactions speak louder than youtube comments is a better it's a better way to put it into perspective. That's it's only a better way to put it into perspective because the people who are using all the pay-to-win systems are too busy fucking winning. They're too busy winning in-game. They're not going to go write a YouTube comment. What are they going to say? I hate the fact that I'm an Arabian prince and I'm beating the shit out of everyone in Diablo Immortal. No, of course not. The only people who are going to complain are the people who don't have $110,000 to spare. That's what it really does. Oh, let me Do close this curtain. down and dedicate more resources to what they would now consider to be the future of gaming. But of course, that's just the numbers. Yeah. And I'm just a hater. All of what I've said so far is about the past or the future, not about the present. And I'm yes. pretty sure I didn't title this video where WoW is going to be in five years or where it was five Oh, years. I've done this one. He's done that one multiple times. Yeah, I do this about every week. Yeah, look at this. Is yep. holy shit. Look at this. Yeah, I know this. Years in the past. So let's take a look at the current gameplay instead. Okay, let's because take a what we it. all really care about as MMO gamers is what she feels like when we're inside of her. <laughs> I'm going to be shocked if there's any monetization on this video by the time I'm done here. So currently, WoW is... Ex Somehow there's still monetization on this video, and I'm so terrified every single day that I'm going to wake up and YouTube's going to take away the 10 cents I get from all the views I got on this. They're going to take away my whole 10 US cents. It's so terrifying. I wake up in a cold sweat every day thinking, oh, not, not the 10 cents that I've got from this fucking video. Experiencing what some would call a returning golden age. Classic is in its wrath phase, and the Dragonflight expansion looks pretty amazing. They even gave us Blue Kale Thus. Every and to that is be literally fair, Blue Kale Thus. I, I really think that the character modeling, the cinematics, the in-game cinematics in Dragonflight, I said it on release, oh, I'll say it again, they are window. fucking incredible. They have more detail, more emotion, and more work put into them than we've ever had before. I love it. I hope they keep doing it. Yep. And the stories were pretty good, too. It's good, but it's not good enough. It can't Everyone compete with a modern game. Everyone who moved to Thailand they already is fucked raving up this about story. how good the game is right now. And they're not wrong. This expansion is super fun, despite the prior presence of a certain rotting elf corpse that's been ruining the story over the past few Fuck years. Wow is beginning to show that what old piece spark of, of character that was. again, with gameplay and complexity in all the right places like the talent tree, the new flying mechanics that they yanked right out of Guild Wars 2, Stolen. and even how you experience the leveling. And at bare minimum, this makes the game at least twice as enjoyable as it was before. There's plenty good to talk about here in Retail Wow right now, from the new event. Yes, I, I would say that Retail Wow is good right now. It's good, it, but it's it not good enough. Play. I do think that there are some problems fundamentally with some of the end game systems. The game has yeah, to work. And all that matters them. is I the end game. It does in the next expansion or so. But it's it's good. It's good. You don't have to play it right now, and you're not going to get behind. But you can if you want to, and I think that's fucking great. Mythic Plus Stale is two weeks old bread, though. Well, and then don't, don't do, do, it. do it. Yeah. Is Dragonflight better than Legion? So, so a lot, to a lot of what he said there, the way World of Warcraft works now in comparison to Shadowlands, in comparison to all this other shit, is you can choose to not do a bunch of stuff that you don't want to do or not care about, and it doesn't impact your character that heavily. Um, Shadowlands, um, you were like forced into doing shit like Torghast and 
like all these other things because I don't know. They they were like, you have to do this if you want to do anything. And that just made it such a fucking mess. Made like it just made it horrible. In in a lot of ways, Dragonflight is better than Legion. In other ways, Dragonflight is not better <clears throat> than Legion. I don't know if like, it is. For example, if you were a high end raider. I think that you probably enjoyed Dragonflight. You probably enjoyed Dragonflight more than Legion, because Legion basically made you feel like you were a sweatshop worker. Starting Legion or end of as Legion. As a casual player, I could see somebody still enjoying Legion more. And also, Legion was such a massive step up in quality in like 2016, 17, whenever it came out. Legion's story was good. It was so much better well, at than least we I liked had it. any other expansion before that. That it was proportionally. Oh, come on. You know, you know how fucking hard it is to get, like, a stable internet connection in this goddamn country? Five dollars a month! That was probably you, Jarek. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Swirl Benji. Oh, thank you. Thank you for giving Jeff Bezos half of your money. Seriously, I appreciate it. It's probably you, Jarek. I know you. Only that much more impressive at the time. Ochre class to the cool looking dragons Le to the far higher levels of custom. All I'm saying is that people remember the last half of Legion. The first half yep. was terrible. Yep. Customizability in playstyle. People remember the last half of Legion and not the first half because the last half was so much better than the first half. Um, and it kept people around. It kept their attention for longer. The beginning half of it was kind of a shit show. And then we went downhill when we would just started, you know, with BFA and Azerite power and get rid of this legendary weapon. And fuck, I was a shaman wielding the goddamn doom hammer. And now I'm supposed to give that shit up. <laughs> you lie and character. Even the professions seem to be relevant again. But with all that complimenting, I just can't help but want to crap in everyone's morning cornflakes. The big problem we're still facing is that Blizzard is still Blizzard. No matter how yeah. good the current WoW expansion yeah, true. is, they've still fucked up over and uh -huh. over again. They've ruined their players' trust. Man, fuck, the, taken fuck these people in chat. Fuck these assholes. <laughs> Fucking sitting all over my accent. I see them typing blizzard. God, fuck these people. <laughs> Hot, steamy dump in their eyeballs after promising nothing but the purest of epic fantasy. They've lost a lot of trust over the last few years, That's true. both with in-game and IRL shenanigans. And from a purely business perspective, it might not even be worth it for them to climb that mountain instead of just refocusing their efforts on another game or somewhere else entirely. Now, putting aside the IRL blizzard. Yeah, I don't look at the Look at these motherfuckers. Look at this little fucking chat here. Buzzness. Jesus, is my fucking accent that heavy? My, my God. It's fucking making me self-conscious here. I think that Blizzard can continue to use World of Warcraft as an IP to push other things in like their mobile universes that will cause them to make even more money. So effectively, like again, World of Warcraft might not have the best profit overhead, but it's a legacy game. It's something that like establishes like who Blizzard is, what Blizzard is, like Hearthstone, right? Like World of yep. Warcraft enabled Hearthstone. Okay, so, Hearthstone. Okay, so that, that I can agree with. I can agree that because it's a legacy game and because it's got such a big name tied to it, even the people who haven't played World of Warcraft know about World of Warcraft. It's like a thing. Yeah, they wish they lived in Africa. Yeah. Stone to exist. This is the, what's a Valley Girl accent there? To exist. So I do think <laughs> that World of Warcraft will continue to be developed because it allows them to generate and create a world that they can monetize in other ways. And all No, they're just making a lot of fucking money. The second they're not making money, they'll give up. Also, they monetize the fuck out of World of Warcraft. Yep. You have to pay to play the fucking game. Yep. You have, you can buy gold. You can yep. buy WoW tokens. Yep. You can buy store mounts. You can buy level boosts. You can buy yep. pets. They're mm -hmm. making a lot of fucking money. Also, 
He's probably going to leave this out. Also, you can give your money away to them for charity purposes. And by charity purposes, what I mean is that they can use it as a tax write-off. They use your fucking money as a tax write-off so that they pay less taxes through charity. Problems for a second and just focusing on the So game. that's another way what they make money. Off the dragonflight? Do we know. go through the same cycle of the next expansion being utter dog shit before they learn their lesson again yep. and release something decent, but to even less fanfare than before because they've lost it? This is my favorite one right here. That's my least favorite one. <laughs> this one right I played here. that expansion. <laughs> That's God. really the way it felt like, too. I love this meme. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The meme timeline, yeah. Another group of players. Who knows? Maybe this... I haven't seen this one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the corruption over his face. That one should actually just the be like a dark piece of, of shit. And then this one here. We got fucking, what is this, like, soul cinder, soul fucking embers. Uh, Corthia fucking a carrot on his stick. And the carrot's broken. And he's in chains. Oh no. This is a new era for them. Then there's that missing oh, no. feeling of novelty that WoW used to have. Yeah. Don't confuse what I'm saying with nostalgia here. I'm talking about that unique experience, that thing that oh, sticks shit. with yeah. you. That one effect or graphic from a video game that's just imprinted onto your neurons forever. And if you still Frozen don't quite throne. understand what I'm talking about when I say Storm novelty, let's take a look at some other games. New World might have been a buggy mess at launch, but its sound design always stood out as incredible. RuneScape it might not good. have the graphics, but it had its crafting systems and its atmospheric mm -hmm. music. The quest line seemed Ion pretty good in had its RuneScape flight too. systems. Guild Wars 2 had its NPC interactions. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, but I was. I got distracted now because of your message. I'm just saying. Guild Wars 2 has females with the roundest tits I've ever seen. The roundest, most circular tits I have ever seen in my life come from this game. You look homeless. <laughs> Maybe that's the look I'm going for. You know, even Mortal Online 2 has no, something just I like my bad pants. memorable about it. Maybe it's just me here, but Modern WoW just doesn't have those standout features anymore. It all feels so stand- I think that's true. I think that World of mm -hmm. Warcraft's standout features right now are its in-game systems. Like, the people that are going to be diehard WoW fans right now are either super casuals or hardcore players. Raid content, arena- You see, this guy gets it. This guy gets it, yeah. This Ministrog guy, he, he knows exactly what I'm fucking talking about. The tab targeting system is ancient. It is ancient. And it's not done well because it's ancient. There are games that do tab targeting way better, way smoother, in a much more fascinating way, in a much more uh, player-friendly way. It feels clunky. The whole time I played um, through this game, it felt so fucking clunky. Uh, really want to enjoy Mortal Online too, but I feel like solo playing is 100% impossible. Uh, you just get smashed by roaming death squads. Um, the only way to play Mortal Online 2 as a solo player is to, uh, you've got to join up with a guild or you've got to find a way that you can set certain traps or lead people through certain areas where you're going to end up fighting them one-on-one -on -one, or you can get them to fuck each other up. But if they're a well-practiced group, yeah, good luck. You're going to need like a few years of that. Mythic Plus. Standardized. So risk-free. Firing a gun no longer sounds like you just took a quick drive through Chicago. Earning a mount just doesn't have the same appeal when you can buy all the better looking ones off of the in-game store for real money. I That's could true. really go on forever about this. Back in the day, WoW was an innovator and a trendsetter. Oh, he Almost did this? everything oh, it did, did left him. I want to see if someone. From the Hold on, I want to see if someone picked up what I did in this clip. I think it was this clip. Sound design to the story to the mechanics to the atmosphere to the neat little tricks 
that you would have to specifically learn to become a there it is <laughs> so i did something very specific that triggers wow players in this clip and i did it on purpose i went in uh to farm uh blood furnace and i made a clip where i played the way i don't usually play I I clicked. I clicked on my abilities. For some reason, it fucking triggers wild players to no end when you do that. Sometimes I honestly want to go into like a raid and I just want to be like, hold on, I'm getting my I'm getting the right ability. Hold on, guys. Wait, no, that's not. Yeah, there there we go. <laughs> just to piss people off. Because I just wanted to see if anyone would actually pick up that I went and clicked on the ability because if you look at the ability it's it's already bound it's bound by the hotbar it's all <laughs> anyway guys guys they's got to go what the fuck are you talking about Eric? master <laughs> of whatever class you chose to main clicker you see there we go flight, the only thing I triggered that a really few of them sticks out to me is watching Rathion the rightful heir and child of Neltharion. Cower like a little bitch, please fucking show Who it. was the most badass dragon WoW has ever seen. True. Getting fucking defeated. By a by rock. By a stray piece of debris. <laughs> you know. <sighs> he said it in such a better way than I did. I should have just said by a fucking rock. I don't know why I said stray piece of debris. By a rock. Hmm. <sighs> I could have said it in a, a way clearer and more blunt way, and I just didn't. That idiot. The very element his aspect is supposed to be in control of. And it was, was so fucking, fucking stupid. pathetic. It was. And I feel like all they they only did all of this to make Rathian seem less cool. Because in my opinion, like, yeah, Rathian's had some L's, like, you know... Yeah, they wanted him to seem like a fuck up. ...to Draenor and... You know, that was kind of a bad call. But the thing is that at the end of the day, it worked. So, like, Rathian, he makes plays. Now, every play doesn't work, but it certainly is a play. Yeah, I went civilian after that. Well, that's the thing, right? It's like, I, I think that they just made him unlike. I think they made him more unlikable in, in Dragonflight on purpose to make the other black Dragonflight leaders seem more equivalent that's my opinion civilian should be the aspect no he shouldn't he like what the no, fuck did he do he didn't it do should anything. be ebonhorn okay okay no it should be rathian because rathian at least does some shit in the story um but you could make a case for ebonhorn because ebonhorn is uh patient kind understanding knowledgeable wise capable he's all of the shit and because he doesn't want to be the leader of the flight, he should be. You could make that argument about Ebonhorn. But you can't make that argument about Sibelian. Sibelian's a fucking cuck. He just, he cucked out, ran away, hid, and he was like, oh, I'm not going to help anybody. At least Rathion did something. Rathion might have, like, wrapped the turban around his head and been like, uh, Mashallah, we're going for the towers, but at least he did something. Honestly, the foundation of the game still leans on some incredibly archaic systems that only have limited solutions to them, no matter how much they're updated. You see, usually, in order to attract as broad an audience as possible, a game is designed to have an easy learning curve and a high skill ceiling. World of Warcraft accomplishes this by slowly feeding you more abilities as you level up and getting you comfortable with their multiple gameplay mechanics, giving you more options in playstyle as you grow as a player. But one of the problems is the leveling experience is now pretty compressed from what I can tell. And they shit buttons out at you at a fairly rapid pace. And if you I think that there probably could be too many buttons and wow, yep. I would I, I would indulge an idea that that is probably the case. Because it's like you compare uh I don't Okay, so so that point that I was making, I was making that point uh going off of the worst case scenario, which is something probably like Shadow Priest or something like that. But the people who are going to disagree with that point are the people who play a character where you just press one button. You just, you literally just slap one button all day and you do nothing else. No, like, I mean, like New World or, uh, I mean, New World is super fucking simple. It's probably too simple. Like Lost Ark, you've got eight abilities, maybe nine if you count the Awakening. 
uh, maybe 10 if you're like Mayhem Berserker or something like that. Very few. And uh, that's it. It would be nice if WoW was able to cut down on a few more abilities, but I don't want to see that happen in a lot of ways because it's like last time that happened, it just made the game a lot worse. Yeah, the people disagreeing are probably the people playing like one button retard class. experience through the settings menu and several add-ons, there's plenty that just feels lackluster when compared to the control schemes of newer MMOs. This might be a difficult thing to do, but I don't want you to think about yourself. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch what I say here, right? Watch what I say here and watch how I, I'm, I'm predicting this. Watch how many fucking people in chat don't listen to this because they're incapable of thinking about anyone else but themselves. Watch this, watch his chat and you will see this. I'm about to say something that none of them are going to fucking, they're, they're, they're not going to be able to do it. Watch. Oh, this might be a difficult thing to do, but I don't want you to think about yourself when I'm talking about this. Okay. Because if you somehow stumbled across my garbage channel, See, it's don't think about yourself. that you're very invested into MMOs or you're just a veteran of the space. Yes. But take a moment to consider your brand new MMO player who's never played there one go, of these There you go, there you go. Beat the fucking Imagine shit out of me. There you go. Some gameplay for Good. The first time, trying to figure Kids are going to be all right. Which one of these MMOs is going to suit them best? Do you think they're more likely to... Which MMO is going to suit a kid best? I'll tell you which MMO. It's the MMO called Fortnite. Yeah. Kids aren't playing MMOs. Yeah, but no one's playing they take MMOs. take too fucking long. And kids didn't play MMOs back then either, usually. Like, most people started World of Warcraft whenever they were, like, 13 to, to, to 18. Wait, is 13 not a kid? Maybe, maybe this is my fault here. May like maybe I used the wrong language here. Maybe I should have said teenagers. But to me, if someone's between the ages of thirteen and fifteen, they're still a kid. Thirteen to seventeen, actually, I would consider them still a kid. But he seems to think a kid is something that's under the age of thirteen. So maybe I used the wrong language there. I did. I was six or seven. Yeah, but you would be an outlier then. So I can understand his point because a lot of people um, wouldn't have started playing any form of MMO or been able to comprehend any form of MMO um, until they were like at, at least 13. But well, I should have said teenagers there, I guess. Like, I, I think many people started World of Warcraft like at 13 to 18. I was 19. Yeah, somewhere around there. Like, I don't think you had a lot of seven-year-olds playing WoW. Now, there were. There were absolutely seven-year-olds playing WoW. But I think that there were also a lot of older people doing that, too. Understand what's going on here. I need to turn my fan back on. How the fuck did that miss? Need or here. Break. Get ready to break it. Oh, my God. Make sure you guys are also doing this. The simple fact is that WoW is currently having trouble attracting more players and a younger audience. And worse than that, if they simplified <sighs> WoW like they've tried to in the past, they'd still have a yep. hard time attracting new MMO gamers while now losing their old players too. What my whole point, my whole point here is I'm trying to say that they, they're, they're fucked if they do and they're fucked if they don't, right? You can't simplify the game. They tried that before. They tried that after Wrath. Didn't work, lost players. They recomplicated the game. Didn't work, lost players. They cannot do either. They're fucked. They have to. They have to make a new game. Like if you want to actually make WoW, yeah, but they again, won't. You have to make a new game. They won't make a new but game. They have to either do that They're or reinvent the game in classic WoW. Or like Blizzard's classic full of pussies. They're not going to make like a new OSRS. game. Because like you, you can't have wars in World of Warcraft. Because if you do, everybody lags out. It's insane. The 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 engine sucks. Yep. Uh the the fucking graphics suck. Yep. It's just outdated. It's still a good game. We still play RuneScape. I think Final mm -hmm. Fantasy is kind of outdated too to be honest. It's not like it's this perfect amazing fucking game though.
But like, it, it is it, outdated. It's not next gen. And it's it's not going to catch people by surprise. People might not remember this, but like whenever World of Warcraft came out, it looked amazing. It did. It was like you're For comparing, like even like the other games, like 2004, like so you think like Half Life 2, Halo 2. I think if you go back and you play World of Warcraft Classic, Classic WoW holds up better than both of those in terms of graphics. Probably. Probably because its art style was good enough. Life now is the most exciting and interesting part of World of Warcraft, whether you're looking at Classic or Retail. It's the latest expansion, right? Well, to get there and experience that new, shiny, exciting content that everyone is touching themselves over, you're going to have to drag yourself through 60 levels of an experience that just might not feel worth your time or effort when all you want to do fucking chat mommy is God ride some it. dragons true and since wow has so many Very expansions true. and stories stacked up on top of one another it's quite the i think i find it to be impressive i think they've made alex draza hotter and it is impressive that blizzard has managed to make her more like have her wear more clothes and also make her hotter Challenges yeah, a newbie I guess so. to try and untangle that mess before navigating your way through it. And worse than that, the players who aren't invested oh. and are new have Fuck. almost zero. The, and like, this is terrible. This fucking editing here is terrible. Oh my god. I was editing like at like four in the morning after pulling an all nighter. This, oh, I should have redone all of this. Reason to care about the story. And guess what? This was a. I can't believe I did that. I'll tell y'all, like, I, I will, uh, you know, I, I can't, nice legs. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I've shaved them never. <laughs> Your balls are you showing. Are hot, to be honest. <laughs> Someone said your balls are uh -huh. showing. It was for charity. The worst part is that it wasn't. I did this for free. The, you know what, if he did some shit like this for charity, he could probably pull in like a hundred thousand easy. But you could, as a new player, buy a boosted character, but yeah. now you're going to be lost on how to play with um, I He was doing some cosplay thing um, on stream with, it was himself and um, a rapey boy, Mizkif, and two girls. Um... I don't know if either of them had been molested by Ms. Kiff, but they were like, they were just doing it for like a stream or something. And he was just kind of sitting there feeling awkward. Because the, I think it was the girls made them cosplay for it or something like that. Out some external guide. And wow, to a new player is very quickly starting to look like a money sinkhole <laughs> in comparison to other games. And what you're basically being told by the existing community yeah, is that you're not allowed to make a judgment on the game until you've already played 20 to 30 hours, reached level 60, and then begun your real in-game journey. Which I is think that there's two different judgments for that. I don't think that you can provide... There it is. There it is. You see that. You see that. You see that in chat there, right? You see their messages in chat. 20 to 30 hours question mark more like 100 plus 20 to 30 hours no son you need 100 plus do you see how fucking thick these people are i fucking said i said take yourself out of your own little goddamn elitist bubble and think about your average player think about your average person who's never played an mmo who this might be their first experience don't think about yourself. Think about it. And what I said was that they're going to take 20 to 30 hours to reach level 60. And then after that, they can, they then play from 60 to 70. And the entire community keeps telling people you cannot have a fucking opinion until you play the most recent expansion. But that just flew over all of their fucking heads. And he's about to say that there's a dichotomy of you can have an, a first impression or you can have um, a 100-hour-plus review of the game, but you need to play more than that. And that's a false dichotomy because the game shouldn't just be fun at the beginning or at the end. It should be fun the whole fucking way through. Most of the time you spend playing the game should be fun or enjoyable. Quit review. I, an, I know it's coming. An MMORPG after only playing it for 20 hours. But I do think that... 
a bad MMORPG in the first hour. I think a game oh, you be see, good. Oh, you see there again. Someone said 20 hours. It takes five to get to 60. No, it takes you five to get to 60, you fucking basement dwelling sweaty monkey. It takes your average player who has never played the fucking game. 20 to 30 hours because they don't know what they are doing. They are not optimizing. They are not sprinting through the game. They are experiencing it. But do you see? Do you see how it just went over their fucking heads? How how I said, don't think about yourself. Think about the average player. Think about someone who's trying this for the first time. Gone. Whew, out their head. Vanished into the fucking ether. Good in hour one. What, it takes you an hour for the game to be good? What the fuck? I've got other things I need to do. I don't have time for this shit. What is this? So yeah, I think it should be immediately fucking good. It's just the last 10 levels, followed by the end game where all the actual content is. But there's two different is. judgments Now there. that might not seem all standards. that bad if you're your regular masochist MMO player. After all, you've been here forever already and there's no getting off this ride yeah but that's a pretty true. heavy time investment for your average person this is a nice who game. in that I same like time span looks. could have completed at least three single player games by themselves so with all that said with all the cards laid bare on the table before us with all my whining about how i'm just incapable of removing these rose tinted glasses and comparing wow to its past self we've still got to answer the question is WoW still the GOAT? And the answer is yes. See, even with Activision Blizzard's missteps over the years, they've managed to maintain something that not many yep. other MMOs do. As the much as it sucks, they are every still time the GOAT. they yeah, see those so subscription so. numbers start to drop, even if it's only because and, they And I up. bet you there's a bunch of Final Fantasy people losing their fucking minds, being like, oh, Final Fantasy is way better. Final Fantasy will never have the same levels of players not even close not even close they are not even in the same universe but final fantasy players play final fantasy never play anything else and then think they ha they can have an opinion on everything else that they haven't played about the money they at least try to do something they pretend like they care for at least like six months okay like, they'll be like, yeah, guys, we're listening. We're going to change the bad system finally. And also, so we have a new system. It's pretty much the old system, mm. uh, but there are I think he's wrong. I think they pretend to care until they've got a new cinematic out, actually. I think... I think, I ch yeah, I changed my opinion on that. They care right up until the point that... Their new cinematic is out and everyone's forgotten about the controversy. There aren't any of the improvements and it's coming out next week. ...about it to retain players. Mm -hmm. And after playing my way as far as I can into Dragonflight, even I'm sitting here thinking... I wish I knew how to quit you. Despite all my bitching about the story, there are still some good, solid well-written characters that they just haven't figured out how to disenchant yet. The fantasy of the game True. is still in there somewhere, and Dragonflight proves- By the way, I never really thought- I never thought, uh, Varian was that cool, or that interesting. Yeah, that's fair. If you haven't, um, read the lore that's outside of the game, and you don't give a fuck about it, Varian seems like a very vapid character. Like, if you know his backstory, the whole fact that he was, like, imprisoned as a, uh, a slave by the orcs, and they called him Logosh because he kept on beating the shit out of everyone, um, that he formed a team with a druid, uh, uh, an elf, and all of this shit, and this was only half of Varian. This was half of a human being who was just destroying people to the point that the orcs called him their fucking wolf god. And you go through his story, then you care. But the fact that none of that was in the game, yeah, if you just heard Varian, you'd be like, oh, who the fuck's this guy? I, I just, I never thought he was Zachary. It's that. But that doesn't mean this old girl- Also, his son's a massive bitch. Girl ...is always going to be on top. At some point, we're going to be taking her out back, letting her see the sunrise one right. last time, before we load up that double-barreled cancel subscription button and firing away.
Now, whether that happens because Activate My Almonds can simply make more money through selling predatory wallet raping games on mobile and stops caring about WoW entirely, or because something newer that just does everything better comes along at some None point. None of which will I happen. I don't think that's going to matter. Like, in my opinion, I think that Elden Ring does everything that Dark Souls 3 does, and it does it better. I think Elden Ring is better than Dark Souls 3 in every single way. But I would still go back and play Dark Souls 3 every once in a while. Sure. So it doesn't mean that I'm going to come back. I'm going to I'm never going to play it again. So yeah, I don't think so. Boss fights? Okay. Oh. Okay, that's fine. But what's the barrier to entry? If you've got Elden Ring and you've got Dark Souls 3, the barrier to entry is reinstalling the game. The barrier to entry of coming back and playing World of Warcraft is signing up back up with your subscription, paying once a month, every single month to play the fucking game again, right? That's a massive barrier to entry. So I'm not sure that the, the comparison to a game that you buy once and you now own the game is a good comparator there. It might still hold true, but I don't think it does purely because for World of Warcraft, you need a subscription. And that's a, that's a massive barrier to entry. If I quit World of Warcraft, which right now I have, I've closed the game out, I'm working on other stuff, I'm focusing on other projects. It is a big barrier to entry for me to be like, ah, oh, okay, let me put in my credit card details, let me put in this, and I'll, I'll sign myself back up. That is a big commitment. That is way more effort than if I could just click a button download the game, and then play it. Oh, wow. There's like seven bosses in Dark Souls 3 that are good. What did you forget about the fucking so ancient what? wyvern? What about that? Now uh, they're just uh, complaining uh, about Dark Souls 3. Who just runs around screaming while you hit him and he doesn't do anything. There's so many bad bosses in Dark Souls 3. Yeah, it has a few good ones. But so does Elden Ring. Remains to be seen. My bet is still the same as the one I've stated before. The only thing that's going to kill World of Warcraft is World of Warcraft. They've been but for trying now, that. Activision yeah, it's been Blizzard. working. Here's your crown, King. Just remember. No king rules forever, my son. I think WoW, like, I mean, I was playing Warcraft, th Warcraft 2, like, I would, uh, I, I would sit with my As mom. As always, big thank oh, to all my subscribers, both old and new. <laughs> <laughs> and a special thank to the MMO Relationship Therapy Association. Okay. You get to watch this video before anyone else. This was this a great video. I love this. I hope you guys subscribe to this guy. He's really so funny. Me for taking so yes. Long to get to subscribe it. to me. Give me so. your money. I really do. This is yes. a, this is such a great fucking video. I'm glad he yeah, liked I it. I love this. Let me go ahead and link it to you guys. Link it. Yeah, right here. That, there. that is that is a relief. That that he didn't just like shit all over my video and be like, this is trash. This is garbage. I'm really glad that didn't happen. But now the next video I put out is gonna be really fucking good. Oh, I'm screwed. There you go. The roast beef joke? Yeah, that was just fucking <laughs> ready to settle down. Holy fuck, man. Oh, that was hilarious. I mean, I, I do think that it's kind of hard to judge, like, the game based off of its peak, right? It's like, oh, you have yeah, to, I was though. good into fucking Bill Bang it, Bang it, let me tell you back in 2010. Oh, man, I was the shit. It's like, yeah, okay, Grandpa, let's get you to bed now. Yeah, Grandpa was right, goddammit. Most important is how it feels inside her. True, true, true. And the fact is that World of Warcraft always does feel good to play. Um, I do think PvP needs a massive amount of improvements. I think that the yep. way the game is PvP designed sucks. is simply not fun for an average person. It's not yep. fun for me. It's uh, hyper complex. I, I don't like sitting in a fucking CC chain. Yep. It it it's fucking boring. It's not fun. It sucks. 
and I wish they would change it. However, I, I would say that this is a uh, th this is a good video, and and I do think that World of Warcraft probably is still th probably the goat MMO. I would agree with that. I I think that each MMO does something probably like the best. So like in my opinion, I think action combat yeah, is best in New World. New World has the best action combat out of any. It would, uh, its action combat would be better if um, there weren't so many bugs. MMO. Lost Ark is the best isometric MMO, and it's not even close. Yeah. All of the other ones are Too many average bots, at best. Unfortunately. Uh, Albion Online might be good for PvP, however. Um, I don't know enough I, about Albion to I have actually, an opinion. You think BDO is better than... Uh, I have I haven't played BDO. Oh God, I've got to tell you about an experience now. I've so I um installed BDO, and I wanted to like you know get ready to to try and play the game just a little bit, um thinking about doing a review on it. I had to go through a fucking like hour long unskippable tutorial, and it was it was infuriating. Oh my God. And then I saw the combinations that it expects you to press on your, your keyboard. And I'm sitting here like, this is a fucking fighting game. In like five years. So I can't, I, I, I can't speak on that. Maybe BDO is better. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, I would say BDO has the best character creator, however. BDO is absolutely the best. Final Fantasy probably has the best story. World of Warcraft yeah. has the best in-game PvE content. Yeah, like, uh, Mythic I can agree Plus, to that raiding pvp there's a lot to do at endgame for uh for wow players and they have a lot of really great side content too with like mount farming uh, per, uh like professions pets transmog like all the completionism content as somebody who cares about this stuff i think that world of warcraft does it better than any other game and it's not even remotely close uh, I, I have not played Guild Wars 2, though, so I can't really compare it to that. El Elder Scrolls Online, I played like two or three days of it. That's it. Now, Path of Exile, that's not an MMO. But yeah, this guy is fucking great, man. Like, I'll link oh, you guys a video. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, look, I got Asmongold to subscribe. It's probably, yeah, it's on his second um, account. But that's fucking something. Like oh, my sub if you God, like that's this good. such a good fucking video. I oh. love this. Holy shit, this was amazing. That's I right, push my though. content. Oh yes. Okay, that 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 felt good. So I did comment on this, but I didn't um I didn't um watch the full video. And so I'm just farming likes a little bit here. Let's see if anyone said any okay, so I did have someone say something a particularly mean that got under my skin here. Where is he? I just saw your Twitter account. You're like Reddit if it was a real person. Now that hurt. That fucking hurt my feelings. God damn it, that's a great way to hurt my feelings. Jesus, just call me like Reddit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> fucking Jesus. Well, that feels good. Um, I think... I think I'm kind of royally fucked now, though. Because, um, if my next video isn't, like, a fucking banger, if it's not, like, on point, like, my channel dies. I think, I think if my next video is shit, I think people unsubscribe. So, I've got to make this next video perfect. Uh, 2016, Asmund was right-winged and raunchy as heck. He's still secretly there, but the money keeps him in check. I mean, listen... Listen, okay. <sighs> Fuck. That much money? Jesus. That much money? You're like, if, if you're a normal person and you've been through any form of poverty and someone put millions of dollars in front of you, it's just words. You're, you'll say some fucking words. I mean, I've been homeless twice, right? There was a point in my life where I would have fucking tattooed a dick on my face if it meant that I could eat a sandwich. I understand. I get it. 